Welcome back, automotive enthusiasts. We're all aware that every classic car has its era when it's most popular, but as time passes, updated versions take over the platform. However, today, we're rewinding the clock to celebrate some of the timeless features that once ruled the roadways. Did you know that certain features have left a strong footprint in the minds of classic car lovers? So buckle up and prepare to take a trip down memory lane as we pay homage to the 20 best classic car features ever made that are now extinct. Here comes on number 20, Swing Away Steering Wheel. A patent was filed under the title Steering Wheel Construction by American inventor Elliot S. Handler in 1953, which brought about the popular feature of the swing away steering wheel in American cars. It was designed to pivot sideways, usually toward the door, to allow for easier entry and exit from the driver's seat. Generally, this feature suited larger vehicles such as full-size sedans. But did you know? During the 1960s, swing-away steering wheels were considered a luxury feature. Therefore, they were mostly found in upscale car models. Ford Motor Company popularized this feature with its tilt-away steering wheel feature in models like the Ford Thunderbird and Lincoln Continental. Unfortunately, in the late 1970s and early 1980s, this trend faded away. You might find it strange why a luxury feature just became extinct, but there was a stronger reason behind it. Let's find out. Despite their convenience, swing-away steering wheels raised some safety concerns. There were instances where the mechanism failed, causing the steering wheel to unexpectedly swing away while driving. This led to accidents and injuries in some cases. Today, cars equipped with swing-away steering wheels are sought after by collectors and enthusiasts of classic automobiles. On number 19, the feature that joins us is torquey and smooth engines. Classic cars are often known for their torquey engines, which provide ample low-end power for smooth acceleration. To your knowledge, these engines were recognized for their robustness and ability to deliver strong pulling power, making them ideal for cruising and towing. Additionally, classic cars are renowned for their smooth running engines, adding to the advantage of a fantastic driving experience with minimal vibrations and noise. Doesn't that sound cool? However, with the passage of time, torque and smooth engines became less common in modern vehicles. Let's find out why. There were several reasons, out of which the prominent one suggests that with the rise of compact cars and a shift towards urban driving, consumers began to prioritize fuel efficiency and nimble handling over the raw power and torque of classic car engines. To meet such demands, a revolution was observed, giving rise to modern driving conditions. Moreover, producing large displacement engines with smooth power delivery became increasingly expensive for automakers as they faced pressure to reduce production costs and improve profitability. While smaller engines were more economical and financially feasible, contributing to the decline in the production of torquey engines. On number 18, we have the traffic light viewer. In the early 20th century, traffic light viewers, also known as trafficators or semaphore arms, emerged in the world of automobiles. These were small mechanical devices mounted on the sides of cars to indicate the direction of a turn. They help reduce accidents by signaling the driver's intentions to other road users. Let me explain how they worked. Traffic light viewers typically consisted of a small arrow or semaphore arm in a metal casing attached to the vehicle's exterior. When activated, the arrow would extend outward, indicating the intended direction of the turn to other drivers. The mid-20th century saw the decline of traffic light viewers with the widespread adoption of electric turn signals. Now, you might be wondering why the need for such a change. Electric signals were more reliable and convenient for indicating turns compared to traffic light viewers, which led to their extinction. Despite their obsolescence, traffic light viewers remain a nostalgic and distinctive feature of vintage and classic cars. Surprisingly, even today, some enthusiasts of vintage automobiles seek out vehicles equipped with traffic light viewers as a unique and charming aspect of automotive history. On number 17, we have hard tops. Hard tops were popular in classic cars for their sleek and stylish design. Specifically, hard tops feature a roof without a fixed B pillar, creating the appearance of a seamless, uninterrupted line from the front windshield to the rear window. This feature truly enhanced the overall aesthetic of the car, giving it a more modern and sophisticated look. Additionally, if you want to enjoy the open air feel with all windows rolled down, you can experience that too, with a sense of freedom and spaciousness. 
The popularity of hardtops peaked during the 1950s and 60s, with many iconic models featuring this design. Renowned cars like the Chevrolet Bel Air, Ford Fairlane, and Cadillac Eldorado offered hardtop variants. However, with time, its popularity faded, and hardtops gradually declined in the late 20th century, becoming extinct in modern car designs. Several factors contributed to its extinction, including stricter safety regulations that necessitated stronger roof structures with fixed pillars for improved rollover protection. Yet, their unique styling and nostalgic appeal make them prized possession for those who appreciate automotive history. On number 16, we have the hood ornament. Hood ornaments are iconic features that symbolize prestige, status, and brand identity in classic car collections. They range from elegant sculptures to unique designs, reflecting the aesthetic tastes of different automakers. With each passing era, they have evolved over the years, boosting their distinct styles. Let's take a glance at some of the famous hood ornaments that you've probably been fond of. Here comes the Spirit of Ecstasy, adorning Rolls-Royce cars, featuring a graceful female figure with outstretched wings, symbolizing elegance and luxury. Another example is Jaguar cars boasting a leaping Jaguar as their hood ornament, capturing the agility and power associated with the brand's namesake animal. Yet another is Mercedes-Benz, using a prominent three-pointed star as its hood ornament, along with many others that have established their brand value in the market. From the sleek art deco designs of the 1920s and 1930s to the bold and extravagant ornaments of the 1950s and 1960s, these adornments captured the spirit of the respective times. However, in the 1960s and 1970s, people grew more concerned about pedestrians getting hurt in accidents, so car makers removed hood ornaments to reduce the risk of injury in case of a collision. On number 15, we have powered antennas. You must have seen antennas and radios. Similarly, classic cars also featured powered antennas that initially enhanced the aesthetic appeal of the vehicle. Well, let me unveil its actual use. It was a significant innovation in the realm of radio reception for automobiles, allowing drivers to extend the antenna at the touch of a button, improving signal reception, and then reducing antenna damage when not in use. Its function was integrated with the car's electrical system, typically powered by the car's battery. Did you know? In the era when they were introduced, power antennas were considered a luxury feature, often found in upscale car models, thus reflecting the prestige and sophistication of the vehicle. Despite their popularity, what caused their extinction? Several factors contributed, including the introduction of fixed or hidden antennas that prioritize simplicity and cost effectiveness in car design. Consumer preferences changed, and powered antennas were no longer seen as desirable features in modern vehicles. Hence, powered antennas declined in upcoming vehicles. On number 14, we have vent windows. Many of you must be familiar with the term vent window, and to many, it might sound beaming. Well, don't worry, as we will unfold its craze in the history of the automotive world. Vent windows, also known as wing windows or quarter windows, were small, triangular windows specifically located at the front of the main side windows in classic cars, designed to pivot outward. They allowed fresh air to enter the cabin while reducing wind noise and disrupting your peace. It became a common feature in classic cars from the mid-20th century. Did you know? It was not just about air conditioning, but vent windows also added a unique aesthetic element to classic cars, enhancing their vintage charm and character. But gradually, as automotive design evolved, this feature fell out of favor due to advancements in air conditioning technology, changes in aerodynamic design, and consumer preferences. And so, vent windows disappeared from modern vehicles, now remaining as a nostalgic symbol of classic car design. Enjoying the video so far? If so, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more incredible content like this. On number 13, we have bench seating. Bench seats were a hallmark of classic car design, contributing to the spacious and luxurious interiors that defined the era. Made with plush materials and intricate stitching and detailing, they added to the aesthetic look of the styling. Traditionally, bench seating in classic cars allowed for a more social driving experience, as it could accommodate multiple passengers sitting side by side in the front row. This design encouraged interaction and conversation among occupants during the journey. To your surprise, many people associated bench seats with fond memories of riding down the open road with friends or loved ones. However, the era of bench seating was discontinued in modern vehicles due to changing consumer preferences and safety regulations. 
As car design evolved to prioritize individual comfort and safety, automakers began to phase out bench seats in favor of bucket seats, which offered better support and protection in the event of a collision. On number 12, we have the pop-up headlight. From the 1960s to the 1990s, classic cars emerged with a distinctive feature, pop-up headlights, also known as hidden headlights or flip-up headlights. They were quite popular, especially among sports cars and luxury vehicles, adding a futuristic touch to the car's design. So, of course, it contributed to its look. But apart from that, if you are curious about its functionality, let me tell you. When activated, these headlights provided improved visibility for nighttime driving. When retracted, they reduced drag and improved aerodynamics, contributing to better fuel efficiency and performance. Some iconic classic cars, including the third generation of the Chevrolet Corvette, Porsche 928, Ferrari Testarossa, Lamborghini Countach, Mazda RX-7, and many more, featured pop-up headlights. If you can name more, do mention them in the comments below. But with time, advancements in lighting technology were made, so these became outdated and hence disappeared from the upcoming classics of the new era. On number 11, we have gas fillers. Gas fillers in classic cars came in various shapes and styles, ranging from simple round caps to elaborate chrome-plated fixtures. Some models even featured decorative elements or branding on the gas filler caps, adding to the car's aesthetic appeal. Many classic cars from the early to mid-20th century had gas fillers mounted on the hood, while others had external gas fillers, where the fuel cap was located on the exterior of the vehicle's body rather than hidden behind a fuel door like in modern cars. Some models, namely the 1932 Ford Model B, 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, 1957 Ford Thunderbird, 1965 Shelby Cobra, and the 1969 Dodge Charger incorporated gas fillers in their era. But gradually, this feature became extinct with the introduction of modern automotive technologies and safety standards. We're nearing our top 10 features. We trust you're enjoying these extraordinary features and recognizing the passion and dedication behind their creation. If you're eager to see which one makes the cut, don't hesitate to smash that like button right away. On number 10, we have car phones. With the advancement in technology, phones similar to the handy mobiles that we use today were also mounted in cars, known as car-mounted mobile telephones. They first emerged in the mid-20th century. Initially, they were large and bulky devices installed in luxury vehicles, primarily used by government officials, business executives, and affluent individuals. Here's a fun fact. In the early days, car phones were not widely available to the general public due to their high cost and limited coverage area. Thus, it was considered a luxury feature. Would you like to know more about them technically? Classic car phones operated on analog technology, which transmitted voice signals over radio frequencies. They required external antennas and bulky hardware to function, further adding to their size and weight. Did you know? The Mercedes-Benz S-Class W126, produced from 1979 to 1991, was one of the first luxury cars to offer a built-in car phone as an optional feature. But soon, their era came to an end due to factors such as the emergence of smaller and more affordable mobile phones, advancements in cellular technology, and changes in telecommunications regulations. On number 9, we have the cassette player. In the 1960s, an optional feature was added to automobiles cassette players. Believe it or not, they remarkably revolutionized the way people listen to music in their cars. Instead of relying on radio stations or bulky vinyl records, drivers could now enjoy their favorite albums on the go. Let me share a fact. One of the most beloved features of cassette players was the ability to create custom mixtapes. Drivers could compile their favorite songs onto a single cassette, allowing for personalized listening experiences during road trips. Did you know? The Ford Mustang, introduced in 1965, is often credited as being the first classic car to offer a factory-installed cassette player. Then came the era which saw its decline in the late 1990s, with the rise of CD players and later MP3-compatible stereos. As digital technology advanced, cassette players became obsolete, eventually disappearing from new car models altogether. On number 8, we have ashtray lighters. During the mid-20th century, Smoking was quite prevalent and socially acceptable, prompting automakers to equip classic cars with inbuilt ashtrays and cigarette lighters to feed the smoking habits of drivers and passengers. These accessories were conveniently located within easy reach of the driver and could be used to light cigarettes or cigars on the go. They were often made from high quality materials such as chrome or stainless steel, adding a touch of luxury to the interior. 
However, with the rise in awareness of the health risks associated with smoking and the implementation of stricter smoking regulations, the prevalence of in-car smoking declined. Consequently, there was a gradual disappearance of ashtrays and lighters from modern vehicles. Today, classic cars with intact original ashtrays and lighters are sought after by collectors and enthusiasts. Do you think it was a cool feature? On number 7, we have usable trunk volume. Many classic cars boasted spacious trunks that provided ample room for luggage, groceries, and other cargo. These large trunk capacities were a practical feature for long road trips. Classic cars typically offer innovative trunk designs, such as fold-down rear seats or hidden compartments, to maximize usable space. These creative solutions made it easier for drivers to accommodate larger items. Models from the 1950s and 1960s, such as the Cadillac DeVille, Chevrolet Impala, Ford Thunderbird, Buick Roadmaster, and Chrysler New Yorker remind us of their large exterior dimensions and iconic tail fins. Over time, the emphasis on aerodynamics and fuel efficiency led to changes in car design. Classic car designs prioritize style and comfort over aerodynamic efficiency, resulting in larger exterior dimensions and spacious trucks. However, modern cars prioritize fuel efficiency and performance, often sacrificing trunk space for sleeker designs and improved aerodynamics. With the rise of compact cars in the late 20th century, trunk space became more limited. Nevertheless, the popularity of SUVs and crossovers in recent decades has revived interest in spacious cargo areas. On number 6, we have lower seats. Lower seats in classic cars were often designed with a sense of purpose to provide a more laid-back, sporty driving experience. They gave a feeling of being closer to the road, enhancing the sensation of speed and control. So, back in the era, lower seats were often opted for as a popular modification. Let's consider the practical aspects. While lower seats provided a sleeker appearance and improved aerodynamics, what about visibility? Lower seating positions made it more challenging to see over the dashboard and surrounding traffic, especially in larger vehicles. This eventually raised questions about automotive safety standards, ultimately leading to the decline of lower seats in modern vehicles. The reasons favored higher seating positions. Since higher seating positions are often associated with improved comfort and accessibility, especially for older adults, manufacturers aim to design vehicles that cater to a wider range of drivers and passengers, making them more prevalent in modern vehicle designs. Only five more to go. So grab the one you like the most and comment on which one you would love to revive. On number five, we have interior colors. Earlier, classic cars were beautiful with interior colors in vibrant and bold hues, ranging from rich reds and bright blues to eye-catching greens and yellows. These bold color choices made the interior design of the vehicle appear more lively. Another prevalent feature was two-tone interior color schemes, where contrasting colors were used for seats, door panels, dashboards, and carpets. Some classic cars also utilized a format to match the exterior paint color with the interior upholstery, creating a combinational look both inside and out. This customization allowed owners to personalize their vehicles according to their preferences. Many luxurious materials, such as genuine leather, plush velour, and elegant brocade fabrics added to the royal look of these interiors. Unfortunately, over time, your color choices, along with changes in design trends and consumer preferences, has led to the decline or extinction of these vibrant and distinctive interior colors in modern vehicles. In your opinion, should automakers revive the same era? Let us know in the comments. On number four, we have wood paneling. Wood paneling has a long-standing tradition in automotive design, dating back to the early 20th century. This trend reached its peak in the 1960s and 1970s. Can you guess the reason why wood paneling was popular once? Originally, it was used in classic cars to showcase luxury and craftsmanship. It was often associated with high-end vehicles, such as station wagons and luxury sedans, typically made from materials like genuine wood veneer or simulated wood grain vinyl. You could customize it according to your choice, whether at the doors, side panels, or rear tailgate. Did you know? Beyond its aesthetic appeal, wood paneling also served practical purposes, protecting against minor dents and scratches, as well as insulation against noise and vibration. Unfortunately, its popularity in classic cars faded after some time, probably due to several reasons. As automotive manufacturing techniques advanced, materials like steel, aluminum, and fiberglass became more widely available and cost-effective. Additionally, wood paneling requires regular maintenance to prevent warping, cracking, and discoloration. Thus, unable to meet such expectations, it became extinct. 
If you are eager to join us on such interesting and informative journeys, be sure to press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. On number three, we have the self-retracting seatbelts. The introduction of self-retracting seatbelts marked a significant advancement in automotive safety. If you're someone who gets annoyed by the manual adjustment and buckling of seatbelts, this feature was a boon for people like you. By automatically retracting the seatbelt when not in use, it helped ensure that occupants were properly restrained in the event of a collision, thereby reducing the risk of injury. This feature was particularly appreciated in larger vehicles where reaching the seatbelt buckle could be difficult. Now the question arises, why did it decline? Let me point out the reasons for you. Sometimes they suffered from reliability issues such as jamming or failure to retract properly, requiring regular maintenance and servicing. Further, automakers opted for simpler seatbelt designs to reduce production costs. Therefore, all these factors acted as milestones in automotive safety innovation, paving the way for further advancements. On number two, we have chrome bumpers. Here is another fascinating feature that adds to the styling of the vehicle's exterior, chrome bumpers. A shiny chrome finish was highly reflective and emphasized the car's lines and curves, contributing to its aesthetic appeal. In the mid-20th century, chrome bumpers were very much associated with luxury and elegance. Therefore, they can be spotted on prestigious car models from manufacturers like Cadillac, Chevrolet, and Ford. Did you know, many chrome bumpers are handcrafted by skilled artisans who meticulously shaped and polished the metal to achieve a flawless finish. This craftsmanship added to the exclusivity and prestige of classic cars equipped with chrome bumpers. But there were certain shortcomings in front of these car makers, which appealed to its upgradation. Chrome bumpers added significant weight to vehicles, which negatively impacted fuel economy and performance. So, a way out of it was adopted by automakers who sought lighter materials to improve efficiencies, like fiberglass or aluminum. So now the production cost was also reduced as the labor-intensive process was cut off, which indeed was a profitable deal. On number one, we have the carburetor. Carburetors were considered an important component of classic car engines, responsible for mixing air and fuel to create the combustible mixture needed for combustion. Hence, they were regarded as the heart of the engine, controlling its performance and efficiency. Here's a fact. Tuning a carburetor was considered an art form by many car enthusiasts because achieving the perfect air-fuel mixture required skill and experience, involving adjustments to the carburetor's various settings such as idle speed, fuel mixture, and choke. But did you know, classic cars with carbureted engines often faced challenges during cold starts as their choke mechanism struggled to provide the engine with rich fuel mixture needed for ignition. Thus, with advancements in automotive technology, Fuel injection offered better benefits such as improved throttle response, better fuel economy, and lower emissions, eventually leading to the widespread adoption of fuel-injected engines in modern vehicles. While these classic car features may no longer adorn the vehicles of today, their legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of collectors. Which feature appealed to you the most? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And while you're at it, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video from us. Until next time, keep the spirit of classic cars alive and continue to cherish the timeless beauty of automotive history.